if you did not see, there's been a massive blow to Chelsea FC. Now, the UK government have frozen all assets with this club due to the fact with Roman Abramovich's ties with Russia. Yes, this does make sense what's all going on. I do understand why the UK government is doing this. We need to talk about what this means for this club. Now, if you did not read anything about this just yet, what's been going on is that Chelsea right now cannot do anything. They cannot buy players. They cannot sell players. They cannot negotiate contracts. They cannot sell merchandise or tickets to any people that want to buy tickets for the rest of the season. Now, if you already do have tickets for games, yes, you can still attend those matches. If you're a season ticket holder, again, you can still go to those matches. But still, this is going to be a massive blow for Chelsea. Now, like I said, this does all make sense because what's been going on in the world right now with Russia and Ukraine UK does not want Russia to have any ties with Roman Abramovich selling and therefore funding anything. So again, I do understand where this is coming from. My take on this video though today is talking about Chelsea as a whole, as a fan, and where this club is going for the rest of the future. Now, the big takeaway from this, I think, is that we can't negotiate contracts, buy or sell players. Because what this means is that Antonio Rudiger, who has just been a phenomenal player at Chelsea, yes, he's very chaotic at sometimes but again I love this player bleeds blue loves a badge he will not be able to negotiate a contract for the rest of the season which most likely means he's on his way out I don't know where he's gonna go but he's gonna be leaving for free which is a huge huge blow for Chelsea now on top of that as Phil Cueta cannot also negotiate a contract anymore I know he had ties to going to Barcelona but still there was a if and maybe he could stay at Chelsea but he's gonna be on his way out Christensen on his way out. That is three big players that we are going to be missing out in our defense. Yes, we have Thiago Silva, who is a rock star, but yes, he is getting older. I don't know how long he can stay fully fit. As we see in each and every game, it looks like he's very close to taking a big knock and going to be missing games, which that could be a huge impact for us. Reese James, as we know, picks up injuries here and there. He's injured again. Yes, he is young, but hopefully he can stay healthy. That leaves us then with Saar. Uh, let's see Chalaba, Marcus Alonso, Emerson as of right now, and our youth academy players, which yes, we do have a lot of youth players. We have players out on loan that can come in, but the fact that we're going to be leaving three players going for free and not bring anyone in to take those roles is going to be very, very difficult for Chelsea to move forward as a club in the future. Now, yes, this is brand new news that came out today, so things could still change from today and future-wise, but looking at the worst case scenario right now for Chelsea, this is going to be huge for the entire club. Now, on top of that, we don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the players, if they're going to want to stick around, if they're going to want to leave. I'm not too sure exactly how this is going to work out with their contracts. If there's going to be an opt-out saying, yes, we want out, we're not going to stay at Chelsea. And this could just send Chelsea straight down into the dark ages and just disappear completely. Now, if you did not know, Chelsea did exist before Roman Abramovich, and hopefully they can exist after Roman Abramovich, but it is going to be a massive hurdle to overcome. Now, right now, staff members, players, managers will still get paid, which that is a great thing because obviously this doesn't just affect the fans like myself and people that watch the game, but it affects people that live each and every day that you know help support this club, help make this team run the way it should, and therefore, I'm glad that they're at least going to get compensated and get paid for it. Hopefully the rest of the season, I'm not too sure moving forward for next season, but as of right now, they still have their jobs, which is a great thing. But like I said, this is going to be one of those things that I think people are going to slowly start drifting away. And it's just one of those things I don't know how this is going to impact the player's mentality for the rest of the season. Now, yes, Chelsea are still going to be able to play all their matches in the Premier League, FA Cup, and Champions League. But like I said, all those games that moving forward, if there are not tickets that have already been bought for those games, you cannot buy tickets. And I think that is going to be a huge impact moving forward in the Champions League and the FA Cup as long as we do advance against Middlesbrough. But still, in player, or this is going to have a massive impact on players' mentality because I think with everything that's been going on at this club, this is just the final straw that's going to break the camel's back because so many issues have been happening this entire season and just week after week after day after day things just keep happening and at some point it's going to just be too much for the players for the manager and I think eventually it's going to break and we're just going to see a total collapse now like I said it's been slowly chipping away I think this entire season but eventually it will just crumble and I'm not too sure if we'll see that happen today against Norwich who 
Norwich have been struggling this entire season in the Premier League, but they may sniff out how Chelsea are desperate right now with things going on, and they may be able to knock points off us. And so moving forward, if we start losing a lot of games in the Premier League, we may drop out of the top four, which prior to this, earlier this week, I thought for sure we were going to win and be in the top four. No problem, no questions asked. But now with all this happening... I don't know what's going to happen with this club. Hopefully, like I said, they can stick around. I've been a huge fan. I've enjoyed our time with Roman Abramovich. We won all the titles we possibly can. But again, I do understand where all this is coming from, from the UK government. And hopefully, like I said, moving forward, we can definitely keep going. Now, Thomas Tuchel did come out earlier this week before all this news broke out that Chelsea have gone through a lot in the last couple of seasons. We've already had a transfer ban before where Frank Lampard did a phenomenal job as a manager Brought the youth players in, made them play very, very well. We had a pandemic that go on, somehow stuck around, did very, very well during all that time. And this is just another thing that happened to Chelsea, and hopefully we can bounce back from it. But this is going to be one of the most challenging bounce backs, I think, for this club in their history. And I don't know, as of right now, if we are going to be able to bounce back. Because, like I said, the way things are going right now with negotiations, buying players and selling players... Next season could just be a complete disaster. We we're probably going to have to play a lot more youth players. We're going to have to hopefully, fingers crossed, that no one gets hurt or anything along those lines. With all the cup games, it's just going to be a massive task for Chelsea to stay fit, to stay in the title race, to even stay in the Premier League and in other all the competitions. So again, as a fan, I'm very worried where this is going to lead for the future for Chelsea. I am still hopeful that we can somehow make something happen out of this. Keep Chelsea around because I've grown up loving this club. And hopefully, like I said, we can somehow separate ourselves from Roman Abramovich and keep moving on and stay up as a club. Because, like I said, Chelsea definitely have been around a lot longer than Roman Abramovich has been an owner. And hopefully we can stay around a lot longer than he's been a manager as well. So I'm just very curious to see where this goes for Chelsea. I want to know what you guys think, though, too. As fans of Chelsea and the Premier League, what you guys think, how this will affect Chelsea where you see them going in the future, because I'm very curious to see what you guys think as well. Uh, again, I don't know where this is going to go, but that's my take on the news that came out today. So that is all I have for you today. If you did enjoy this video, I would greatly appreciate it. If you did hit the like button, that would mean a lot. This helps get this video to more and more fans such as yourself. So if you did, just help me out just a little bit by hitting the like button. All right, I will see you next time.